Hey guys, Hotshot here, and welcome back to another video on Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. And today, uh, we got like a mini update on on the game from the developer update from their Discord. And I'll throw a few screenshots on the screen. Um, they're talking about some bug fixes, some leaderboard stuff, mastery levels, and enemy health like they're going to be tweaking. And um, stuff about progress and moving next about the... Um, the uh, season one stuff with like Joker and pretty much just <coughs> there's pretty much just a lot of other things going down the road, which is nice. Um, now, this is all great, you know. This is what a game needs, like weekly dev communication with updates and stuff. And just what's important is for the first time in a while, this is what I'm happy about is just the weekly uh, weekly updates on games like this that. Because a lot of ASIM games like DBD, you know, TCM, and Evil Dead, and, you know, I jump from one game to another, you know, <laughs> it just comes at a time where they're like, oh, they couldn't really get down the right stuff right, because if that was the case, then all those games would still be on a better end. But, I mean, DBD is the only ASIM game that just is living for this long because of their licensing issues, and or not issues, but just their chapters. If they didn't have like Michael Myers in the game any or anything, they would that game would have died a long time ago. Um, if Evil Dead didn't have their licensing issues, like that game still would have been on the up and up, and that was still would would have been the main game of the channel. Um, TCM just had had its last straw in terms of just their recent update where. You know, grappling has been like there is the meta now, and obviously a lot of people aren't, don't really like that. And um, now family is just a little bit easier to deal with now because victims, like, they nerf choose flight. And do I agree with the nerf to it? There could have been a better way to go around about it. They shouldn't have just nerfed the charges on it. There could have been something different, to be honest. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what they really could have done to it, but, um,. You know, I play 50-50 on any ASIM game now because I can't do this one-sided shit. It just gives me a negative mindset to think about, about the other side. But I think just with this game, with Suicide Squad, you know, I just, for the first time, like, this is a dev company that really cares. Um, I still think the game gets unnecessary hate only because of just one death scene in the game. And people will use an actor's death to in their argument which doesn't make any sense and that's just that's being disrespectful to that actor you know i think them saying oh kevin they're disrespecting kevin conroy when he signed on to do it which you know leads me to believe that the justice league are just clones because brainiac says my justice league so it's pretty obvious they're hiding them on the freaking ship and they're just clones because why the hell would he sign on just to really kill him off it makes no sense so the reason why I'm just worried about this game's future is just because of just the still the backlash and just you know all this other stuff from you know dealing with other games that just die off in just a year you know I mean DVD's not dead but because of the content they're putting out and you know they're putting this, like the rifts and battle passes and whatever this game is, is gonna have a battle pass I don't know if it's I don't, I don't know when though but I'm saying because it definitely has a decent grind to it for all the weapons that you want to get. And honestly, it has to be earned. I mean, you know, because DVD survived for the longest time due to its um, like licenses like Chucky or um, like Michael Myers or Jason, or not Jason, Freddy, you know, like Leatherface, all these other killers. Evil Dead only lasted about almost two years, almost technically. I mean, or just a year, pretty much, only because it came out 2022, and then 2023 died because of just the overall content. And I blame Saber entirely, and also the license holders, because they failed to update the game, and TCM also had its issues because the devs are just, they can't handle criticism well, and then they go on these rants about them going on holiday or whatever and leaving Danny busted. And obviously right now with the recent update, the grappling has become, you know, meta pretty much and everyone's just grappling now because of the change and obviously that just becomes abundant um hopefully i'm wrong i just i'm i don't want this game to flop i think it's really fun for me and my friends to play and i honestly i just hope that whatever happens going forward with the game that things just turn around and um because it's, it's not dead or anything because it still has a decent player base I, i'd assume but whatever happens to it, I'm just hoping it becomes positive. The weekly dev updates sound great, and hopefully going forward we get really great stuff. 
so with that being said they guys thank you so much for watching hope you guys like comment and sub uh, expect more suicide squad videos coming out soon and i'll catch you guys on the next one and as always y'all know what to do stay groovy have a good day